Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jonathan and I'm currently still traveling in China. I just arrived in a place called Huangshan in the Anxi province. I took a long train from Beijing this morning to come here and I will be here for a few days. I'm gonna explore a town nearby called Hongkun and also Shidi. But at first I'm gonna explore the area here. And I'm staying in this very beautiful hotel. It is very rustic and old, but <laughs> I also just saw a mouse in the hallway of my room. <laughs> So, yeah, it's interesting. I think this room costs me like 10 euro in total, so it's also quite cheap. Huangshan is uh, known for having the Yellow Mountain here, very close by, so the Huangshan Mountain, and it's known for tea and for good food. And I'm very close by to a street called City Street, and that is just right here. I noticed that I left a big city because <laughs> everyone is staring again. I didn't have this in Beijing, but as soon as I left the city <laughs> again with a lot of international students and foreigners, I noticed it again, like everywhere where I walk, people are staring and saying hi. <laughs> it's very, they're very friendly. I woke up early to take a taxi to uh, Hongsun village which is about an hour taxi drive away from uh, Hongshan and I'm in a taxi now my taxi driver is peeing on the side of the road for a second After a very well taxi ride I finally arrived in Hongsun village It's definitely one of the best preserved uh, parts of ancient China The traditional Hui architecture from this region you can find it very well back in this uh, type of housing and for exactly this reason, in 2000, they put this in the UNESCO uh, heritage list together with another village called close by here called Shidi. And it's also known for a film location from the film uh, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon from Ang Li from uh, 2000, I think. So during the Ming Dynasty, uh, they invited a big Feng Shui master called He Kai Ka here. And he looked at the village and he saw that it was in the shape of an ox, which is a Chinese symbol of the cow. And he decided that it should be have the characters and the look of an ox. So they designed it all over to look like that. I actually think that regarding that it's the last day of the national holiday today, it's not that busy. This pond here on the side is the center of the village and it's also seen as the stomach of the ox. This building is known as the Folk Forbidden City because uh, in the old days, an old rich man used to live here. It was forbidden to come here and it's all built in wooden beams and it's also the oldest building in the entire village. Wow. There's so many amazing antique stores and they also have the art here of making art from walnuts. The planning of the city is very genius. They made like this whole waterway around it so that uh, there's a water supply for everyone. But also, it at the same time forms the shape of the ox. This hotel here you can stay in. It's called uh, Yipin Genlu Inn. And it says that it's the oldest building in West uh, Hong Kong. <laughs> I think this is definitely one of the most beautiful sites I've been to so far. It's so pretty here and it's so calm as well for like, maybe it's because I'm used to the last few days on the national holiday, always like people, 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 people. I think maybe that's also contributing to it, but it's very pretty for sure. So this tree over here is the oldest tree in the city, in the village. It's 500 years old and it also forms the ox horn. 
So of the image of the ox, this is the one of the two horns. There's another one uh, on the other side as well. I said that a lot of people come here to take paintings of the ancient village. And here they have an exposition of a lot of paintings that they made. Can I try? Yes, okay. Bye bye. I bought some communist books and some very old stamps uh, that are from uh, the 70s and the 60s. They have a lot of antique stores here, a lot of food stores and also a lot of like fruit and small like uh, stone stores. <laughs> I don't know what the point of it is, but like they have a lot of like stores that just sell things to hold in your hand. Like the nuts and the stones and they're all over the village. <laughs> Okay. I don't know what it is, but it smells very sweet. So let's try it. Let's see. I'm very curious what it's made of. Looks like this. Hmm. It's very chewy. Take it's tapioca. Mm. And rice. So right now I left the village and I'm gonna go to another village which is called Sidi, which is a bit small, but that's where I'm staying tonight because in Hongsun apparently foreigners cannot sleep yet or there aren't any hotels that host foreigners. And I have to find a bus, but I asked someone how to get there and they said walk five minutes to the right and there should be a parking where there comes a bus. Well, and now I'm just walking on the side of the road in the fields here on the side and I haven't seen any parking yet. I made it to the bus. <laughs> it's so difficult today to find uh, anything transport because the network, because of the national holiday, is so slow. I just can't use it at all. So I always have to ask and I cannot look up uh, anything on uh, Apple Maps because that usually normally works very well or made it. And I'm also the only person in the bus. So that's great. I made it to Shiding. This is where I will stay tonight. And behind me is a very beautiful archway from the Ming Dynasty. I arrived at the hotel. It's very nice. They are very super pretty. It only costed 9, 8 euros. Hello. Okay, let's go and explore the city now. You look so dumb. <laughs> wow, I think this is actually a much better option to stay here than in Hongsun because it's so much more quiet here. There's a lot of people making drawings and there's a lot of cats and plants and no tourists. It's really nice. <laughs> To enter here you normally have to pay 100 RMB, which is about 10 euro, but there's an exit here which just stops on the highway. So I guess if you just enter here you don't have to pay a ticket, <laughs> which I didn't know in advance, but tips for you guys. Oh, there's a lot more. <laughs> Yeah, let me explain. I don't know what this is. Wait, wait. What is the function of it? Is it a coin? He is successful. I don't know what it means. <laughs> This is an old, uh, old Chinese pornography. <laughs> How much is this? Two hundred. Okay. Uh, Two hundred. Okay. Ah. 
You can find a lot of antiques here that they wouldn't sell in the rest of China anymore. Is this a Mahjong? Mahjong. Uh -uh. I remember from being in Guizhou and other uh, villages and other places uh, on the countryside that they had a lot of like uh, spices drying all the time and it's here too. Perfect. I bought a little red book from Mao. <laughs> Bye bye. I found another very idyllic place. It's a garden inside the city. They have some cats playing here outside. So a person told me that they have light shows in Shidi, and I think he meant that they have like light projections on the walls, like this. <laughs> They're capitalizing on the cats, <laughs> and I love it. Wow, the whole mountain is laid on. It's so pretty. Over here on the wall, they also have a projection of how you use milk. They have one here, and you would have to push like this. And then you put something in this hole here, and then the juice will come out on the sides. I'm gonna go to the hotel now because it's getting a bit late and I have to wake up early in the morning. But if you like this video, then don't forget to follow because there's more adventures like this coming up later on also in other locations. See you next time.